A casual inquiry elicited the fact that there was only one resident in Braunton that takes that paper, a fellow named, um, oh yes, Kessler. Did your husband know a man named Hubert Kessler? Well, Kessler's been found dead. I'm speaking on behalf of Mrs. Healy of Biddeford. Yes. She wishes me to inform you that her husband, James Healy, has been missing since last night. No, she's in Exeter. No, tomorrow, probably. Right. Goodbye. Now, I think you ought to be on your way. You leave everything to me. Goodbye. And thank you. I'll let you know the time. Where are you going? Just the truth of the old Peruvian motto. Hell has no fury. On fact, on his books. Why not? You brought another cup of tea, Lord Dunchester. Open the door. I did my best for the baby. I haven't touched your bacon and eggs. Open this door. This is the most outrageous thing. I, 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 never mind. He's just coming out. Didn't you expect me? Well, you see, uh, I'm alone. That's why I came. Aren't you going to ask me in? Y yes, certainly. Godmother's over? If so, how many? Deuce. Slipper. I'm going to suggest that you allow me, or rather my paper, to look after your interests. If you would. Now, you would like me to telephone the police? Yes. Hello, Barnstable Police. I'm speaking on behalf of Mrs. Healy of Biddeford. If I were you, I'd spend the night in Exeter. Mr. Blake, your lack of any sense of public duty is only equaled by your unlimited capacity for... for, for uh, being helpful? I didn't say that. Did you ever notice anything in particular about his teeth? Just as it was when I left there. You're forgetting. Impressions like that don't last, massively. I don't know that I want to do it. I think she deserves to be remembered. 